The Daily Word, airing now on Hope Media, radio and television. This is Hope Television, proudly serving the Toledo District. Greetings everyone. With your daily word, I am Patrick Jones. There is a chorus that we used to sing as children in Sunday school which says, Be kind one to another, be kind. For the Father up above is looking down in love. So be kind one to another, be kind. When we tune into the news on a daily basis, it does not take long to realize that those lyrics are in short practice these days. The wanton disregard for one another has left many families torn, broken, and sad. But there is a legacy of kindness left for us to emulate by our Lord Jesus Christ. Open your Bible with me to Acts chapter 9, verses 36 to 42. Reading from a New International Version, In Joppa, there was a disciple named Tabitha, in Greek, Her name is Dorcas. She was always doing good and helping the poor. About that time, she became sick and died, and her body was washed and placed in an upstairs room. Lydia was near Joppa, so when the disciples heard that Peter was in Lydia, they sent two men to him and urged him, Please come at once. Peter went with them. And when he arrived, he was taken upstairs to the room. All the widows stood around him, crying and showing him the robes and other clothing that Dorcas had made while she was still with them. Peter sent them all out of the room. Then he got down on his knees and prayed. Turning towards the dead woman, he said, Tabitha, get up. She opened her eyes and seeing Peter, she sat up. He took her by the hand and helped her to her feet. Then he called for the believers, especially the widows, and presented her to them alive. This became known all over Joppa, and many people believed in the Lord. Our anchor verse today comes from Acts chapter 9 and verse 39. All the widows stood around him crying 
and showing him the robes and other clothing that Dorcas had made while she was still with them. The story is told of a woman named Martha, who served as a teacher's aide at an elementary school in the United States for over 30 years. Every year, she saved money to buy new coats, scarves, and gloves for students in need. After she lost her fight with leukemia, the community held a celebration of life service. In lieu of flowers, people donated hundreds of brand new winter coats to the students she loved and served for many decades. Many people shared stories about the countless ways Martha encouraged others with kind words and thoughtful deeds. Her fellow teachers honored her memory with an annual coat drive for three years after her life ended on this side of eternity. Her legacy of kindness still inspires others to generously serve those in need. In Acts chapter 9, the Apostle Luke shares a story about Dorcas, a woman who was always doing good and helping the poor. After she got sick and died, the grieving community urged Peter to visit. All the widows showed Peter how Dorcas had lived to serve. In a miraculous act of compassion, Peter brought Dorcas back to life. The news of Dorcas's resurrection spread, and many people believed in the Lord. But it was Dorcas's commitment to serving others in practical ways that touched the hearts in her community and revealed the power of loving generosity. Brothers and sisters, as you go about your daily activities today, Think about this. How can you love someone with your kind words and deeds today? And how has God used someone else's kindness to draw you closer to him? Let us pray. Loving God, please help me to love others in practical ways each day so I can leave a legacy of kindness that points others straight to you. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful and a blessed day today. Then join us again next time for another Daily Word. Studios located in Punta Gorda Town, Belize.